Hello everyone, my name is Saurabh and today we will have a look at a very basic process of document approval. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do so. Hit like, subscribe and share and don't forget to hit the bell icon as well. All right, let's begin. Say Doris has a document which she wants to upload, but she wants someone to review the document before it gets published for everyone to just view it or start using it. So John is a reviewer. John gets to decide if the document is approved. And if it is, then an email will be sent to Doris uh, letting her know that the document she uploaded is now approved. And then uh, she can tell everybody else to start downloading, start using the document. Same is the case with rejection as well. If it is rejected, email will be sent to Doris letting her know along with the comments by John that these are the reasons why the document was rejected. So we can build a solution either in a document library or, on a, or on, in a list. I'm, I'm using document library today. If you want to send multiple items for review at the same time, I would prefer using list. So in a document library, we will be creating some columns. Let's create a document library first. Call it document review, doc review. Now here we will create some columns. We will first create a column called review comments where the comment from the reviewers will be stored and then we need to capture the status of the document as well if it is approved or rejected and we are also going to create third uh, type of status here and we are going to call it pending review which means that when the document is uploaded by default it is pending review because it is not yet reviewed yeah uh, because if it is reviewed then there will be an outcome so and we are going to make pending review as our default value which means when the document is uploaded by default the status will become pending review okay so this one is done we will quickly make some changes in the view now we don't need some things and then we definitely need id definitely comes in handy okay that's pretty much it we'll just remove modified and modified by as well in a bit first we'll just yeah that's how you upload a document let's just upload something Oh, let's just pick something up from here. That's okay. Now you see that the by default status is pending review of the document because that's what we have set. There is no workflow, nothing at the back end yet. We are going to build one. I'll just remove these two. We will create one for the reviewer as well because we want to capture the name of the reviewer. Okay. Now we're going to put in the created by as well so we know who uploaded the document and who reviewed it, the status of the document and the comments for from the reviewer. Okay, now we have everything, entire schema is built. We are going to open up the Power Automate. It's taking a lot of time today. <laughs> All right, let's click on create. Click on automated cloud flow. And now here we will type in SharePoint. And we are going to select when a file is created properties only. So this is a critical one. Oh, Please make sure you select this one because this is the trigger. If this is 
uh, the right trigger, then everything is just going to work like the way it is intended to work. So now we're going to select the site and the library name, which is doc review. And now here we are going to create the approval. We will select this option called start and wait for an approval. First one to respond is OK. You can change it depending on your requirements over here. It's very much self-explanatory. Now we're just going to put in some information in the title. That's pretty much it. We're going to assign it to now you can assign it to an individual you can just put that person's name in there or if you have an I, it's teams or your own teams the distribution list email address then you can put that one in um, you can you don't need to hard code it like the way i'm doing it this is just for trading purposes you can also put a name in a capture the names in a separate list and then you can get that list in here just an action above this one and can get that item from the list in here that's another option you have i'm just hard coding it and then i'm just going to put in some information under details item link and item description pretty much it now we are going to create a condition so whatever is the outcome of the approval we want to measure it so we're just going to say if the outcome is equals to approve yeah then you do this you just get in there you send an email so this is where doris or the one who created uh, that or uploaded that file is going to get the notification I don't think if I'm going to put in my name in there, I think I'm just going to change it. I don't need to hard code it. I'm just going to put in created by. So whoever is going to upload a document in that library, I want to put that person's name in there. That's it. Created by email address. And I'm just going to put in some context around this approval by putting in some specifics. So I'm just going to put in some um, information for uh, the uploader of the document, the creator of the document. So if the document is uploaded by the reviewer, this is the email which will be sent by the workflow to the original creator of the document, letting that person know that the document you uploaded is now reviewed and approved. And if there are any comments, we can put those comments in there as well. Okay, document review, process, that's it. Now, this is all done. Let's just rename this action. It's a good practice to keep on renaming the action and put some context around that particular action. There are going to be in, there will be instances when you will have a workflow with multiple emails going out, multiple email actions. So it's easier for you to identify which email action is doing what if you have properly named it. Now, after sending the email, I want to send a, I want to update the metadata in the list by changing the status from pending review to approved yeah so this is what i'm going to do over here i'm just going to tell this action to update the file properties and i'm just going to mention everything in there whatever properties i want to be updated i will also include the comments and as soon as i'm going to do that that's it it is going to click on apply to each The loop is going to be introduced by itself. You don't need to worry about it. And now here we are going to add the name of the person who actually reviewed the document. That's it. It's all done. Proof. 
approval properties. Very good. Now we've got approved properties. We have got approval email. Uh, we're just going to copy that and then we're going to put that under the no section just so we can have an email for the rejected um, review as well. We will make the necessary changes in there. We'll make some changes in the subject, change the word approved to rejected. Similarly, some changes will be made in the email body as well. I reckon we're just going to add the response, uh, like the reviewer's comments as well. It is, uh, it is critical to capture the comments, especially in case of rejection. So as soon as you're going to do that, another apply to each uh, loop will be added over there by itself. You don't need to worry about it. We're just going to add the reviewer comment in the approval as well, just so we can keep things consistent. Although it's not really required as much in case of approval, but it's good to know. Okay, this is all done. Now we're just going to put uh, like a create a update property thing for the rejection as well because we need to change the status from review pending to rejected there you go rejected that's it we will update the comments as well and then the email or the name of the reviewer as well very good it's all done it's nearly done that's it comments are added and the reviewers name is also added and then the status is rejected let's name the workflow and let's hit the save button that's it now what we have done, I'll just quickly brief it to you. We created a trigger and the trigger is when a new file is created, properties only, we define the list, the, uh, I mean, the, the site name and then the document library name, then we create the approval, then we create the outcome of the approval and if the outcome of the approval is approved, then do the one on the left in green and if it is rejected, then do the things which are listed under pink, under no category. So the actions are pretty much identical. The context, the metadata is going to be different in both cases. That's pretty much it. As you have seen, this is not a very fancy workflow. This is just one step approval. If you want to create multiple step, if you want to add more people to review and uh, get to decide on the document, you can do that as well. You can build multiple workflows. Um, you can add branchings as well over there. There, are, there is so much, there are endless possibilities. Uh, everything boils down to your business requirements. In most cases, uh, this is something which will uh, get the job done. Document gets uploaded, document gets reviewed, outcome of the review gets emailed back to the original creator of the document, status of the document gets updated back into the document library. So this is a normal thing. Many people use it for public document release processes as well. Um, as you can see, it is, it is very straightforward, nothing too fancy about it. Let me just refresh it. Yep, so now it's here. It must be waiting for the review. Yes, it is waiting for review. I'll just quickly check my email. All right, I've got this email. I'm going to click on approve and I'm going to add these comments. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna hit submit. I'll show it to you. Approve button is highlighted in blue because I've clicked on approved and I've added some comments and I'm gonna hit submit. It's all done. All right, I've got another email. I'll just show that email as well to you. All right, there you go. So as you can see, it tells me the file name in the brackets. It tells me pretty much everything I've asked for. There you go. Looking good to me. I'm just going to refresh it, approved. 
as you can see and I can see the comment as well so it's very straightforward trust me there is nothing fancy about this workflow this is a very straightforward workflow you will find it in many workplaces um, this is just basic document approval mechanism now let's just have a quick look at uh, the rejection process as well so I have just uploaded this file by default it is set to pending review which is good now we will go to yep we'll just refresh it we'll also quickly add ID so we can differentiate between what's happening so the previous one is done it's in green anyways and that one had a uh, ID 3 this one is 3 so there should be another instance over here for ID number 3 it should come up any time now I don't know I think I'll have to click on 2000 times before it starts showing up in here <laughs> power automate sometimes works in a very slow manner there you go it's there it's now running which is good all right so now we should be getting an email anytime there you go now we have had an email now in this email you can see all the properties yeah now I'll show you the action in which all these properties are contained there you go the purple one start and wait for an approval in this you can see everything is contained just wanted to show you that information that you are entering in this action is going to be displayed in this manner to the reviewer so if you want to add anything else you need to do that in this action now here we are going to reject it and we are going to enter a comment that's it and we're going to hit submit beautiful and I've got another email already you can see that is now rejected everything is very clear in here now we'll just have a look at the yeah we'll just refresh it you can see it is rejected yeah by default it picks up some color coding so we need to change that color coding you just click on status format the column edit styles and now here you can change the status I mean the color of the status that's it hold on hope you like the video if you have any questions any feedback please feel free to leave that in the comments box below and don't forget to hit like subscribe and share thank you have a great day bye